In this recording, we're going to do a really simple uh, UV mapping of a cylinder before you get started on your dumpster. So I wanted everyone to please do this first because this is kind of frustrating uh, even for me. Uh, I act actually had to brush up on the new uh, Maya toolset, so it changes ever so often and it's good to kind of do it uh, kind of a brush up before you get started on something large like the dumpster. So we're going to do some baby steps. Uh, again, some of you guys may already know this, but I'm just going to show you um, some easy ways to do it. So um, I'm just kind of really just taking a cylinder. I created a cylinder, uh, polygon primitive, and I'm just basically uh, making a real quick extrusion. And this is uh, baby steps now, a really easy modeling. I just uh, extruded the edge. Everyone should know how to do this with our uh, blindfolded uh, from all the dumpster extrusions. All right, so what we're going to do is pull up the UV editor and I'm, I'm showing you everything from scratch. Uh, so if you get lost, like if you're in rendering, you won't see the UV uh, uh, timeline up here or the, the heads up here. So we're going to go to UV and UV editor. All right, and I'm showing you this right now because this is automatically UV mapped and is incorrect. And I'll show you why it looks incorrect. So if you go up here and hit that checkerboard and you're like wondering where is this checkerboard at, well, this is the image and uh, right here, it'll throw that on there. So if I close this, it'll go back to our, our, our kind of our modeling mode, this uh, gray. So if you uh, are like, where did that uh, color go? Always go into UV editor and it'll show this. And again, you can have different modes. And the reason why I'm turning on the checkerboard is to show you uh, how um, incorrect it is, okay? So we basically want uh, all the checkerboards kind of even. And you can see this is smearing. Uh, this is smearing big time on the top and bottom, especially the bottom here. And we actually want all that kind of even. So basically we want to make sure the pixel count is correct and also when we get into uh, Painter and also ZBrush that it, uh, everything is being stretched out correctly. So there's different uh, types of programs. There's something called Hedis, which I think you can download. It's like maybe 80 bucks or something like that, 40 bucks, but this is uh, very similar, um, but this is um, free and so it's within the Maya pipeline. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and go to object mode and we're going to go to UV and we're just going to go to camera base UV map. Okay, so you can see it does this really weird thing and uh, this is incorrect too. But uh, definitely start off with this first. Uh, so as we make uh, shells, you'll see it uh, populate correctly. All right, again, go step by step with this for the first one and believe me, you'll get lost if you don't. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead again, go to object mode. I'm going to select it. I'm going to turn off that uh, checkerboard for now. It's kind of confusing. And we're going to go to UV uh, 3D cut. So uh, UV tool. I'm going to hold it there just in case uh, you get lost. Okay. And you can always tear off these sheets too. Right up here, there's a. You can tear that off and have it if you have uh, two or three screens. It's nice to pull over, but I've never had the luxury of having a second screen. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the cut tool and you can see right here it has like a little uh, cut tool uh, uh, symbol and uh, just make sure you know that is uh, you're not on select tool but you're on the cut tool so I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, hold my tab and what I'm doing with the tab is when I'm rolling over this it's selecting the whole uh, loop edge okay and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it's just like the edge tool, I could double click this and it would select everything, um, but I wanna get uh, used to uh, the tab tool. And so I'm gonna click, and you can see it's created a independent shell here. So I'm gonna hit, click on that again. And this kind of go around, make sure it's uh, selecting everything. Uh, just make sure you get into a good habit of that. And go ahead and select that. And sometimes, Oh, see, it's not selecting everything, so uh, just make sure it's selecting everything. And uh, as you can see, on this uh, polygon is triangles. Uh, this is not quad base. So just uh, make sure that you um, 
are aware of that, especially if this didn't have any of the triangles, this would be a, a kind of an end gone and you would have to kind of shift to select to go all the way around to select those edges. All right, so I also want to uh, split here on these rings on the outer, right here, these three rings. And if we don't, it's basically kind of like a Coke can. We want to split it and then uh, uh, lay it flat. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my um, control button. So we'll just select one. And we'll select that. And select that. Maybe control. Oh. Maybe I'm just going to double click it. I'm just, just going to double click these. And it's, uh, just double click it, and when you, sometimes we double click it, it will do the wrong thing. So I, I jumped the gun. So now we want to hit uh, Control to deselect and Control to deselect. So you want these completely flat, and then the ones that are cylinder, you want to be able to split so it uh, unfurls it, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. That's flat, and this is flat also. All right, so now what we want to do is uh, change this into kind of a flat mode. So we're going to use the uh, go to our uh, component UV shell and when you roll, rotate uh, or highlight these or as you roll over them uh, it'll select that shell. Okay so sometimes this takes a little bit uh, long um, to do. Uh, it'll hang for a couple seconds but just uh, trust it. Uh, again do your incremental saves. Um, so I'm going to roll over this and I'm going to hit my hotkey D. D is in dog. And you're going to see uh, it change over to my right. And you can see it, it flattened it up over here. So I'm going to go ahead to my side one. Hit D. Just give it a second. Okay. And you see it kind of screwed the orientation, but that's fine. We're going to uh, clean that up. Hit D, and then that flatten that out. Hit D, and sometimes it takes a, a little second um, for these to work, so that's going to flatten that out. Okay, I'm kind of stacked onto it. And the, and the last one, hit D. All right, so we've kind of got a, a mess here. They're sitting on top of each other, and I am going to uh, just open this up and I'm going to hit uh, Orient Shells. Oops. Go ahead and get out of my cutting mode and hit uh, Orient Shells. I think we have to go into Object Mode. Or, uh, UV Shell here. Select them all and Orient shells so those are kind of oriented right and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, modify these so I'm going to go to my modify um, we can also go to layout oops select our shells and hit uh, layout and you can see uh, the layout feature um, kind of stretches out in so we want to make sure this is correct, so we're going to uh, highlight that again. Um, again, you want your orientation of these to be kind of straight. Uh, you can tell they were kind of lumpy, but again, uh, you go to the UV uh, shell, select them all, and then hit the layout button. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this a little bit uh, further. I'm going to go out to my layout tool here, and just going to make sure our unfold 3D. Don't go into legacy. Uh, packing resolution is 2K, so 2048. Uh, translate shells and uh, shell padding and uh, tile padding. I want that at uh, 8 uh, pixels. And what will the, that will do, we'll just kind of push that in so it's not right on the edge. Uh, texture map, uh, we can go up to 4K once we get into uh, Painter, but right now that's just fine. So I'm going to hit Apply. Layout. Let's do that again. Let's try that again. Let's go modify. Layout. Oops. 
so I think it has done it. If you get up here, you, this is how you can tell. And I think maybe when I've done the, the layout here, this is doing uh, the, th the same thing. So one of the things that you just want to make sure is that it's uh, even. So it, it did do it. So I think I, I did it before when I did the layout, sorry. Um, but I did show you how to get the settings first. So you always want to do your uh, settings first and then uh, go into uh, your layout. So um, if you look now, this is good. Um, sorry for the confusion there. But uh, again, you do want to hit layout uh, and make sure your settings are done correctly before you start hitting uh, this button. All right, so you can see um, the pixels are spread out evenly. And you can see from side to side, from here to here, that uh, kind of the ratio from this box to that box is even. That's really key uh, for this to work. All right, um, go ahead and give that a shot. And again, this should be all even Steven. So it's, this is wide and big. And so these are kind of small. So, but uh, again, everything is even. So give that a shot. And um, I do guy, want you guys to kind of maybe showcase some sort of evidence. So go ahead and save this file off to the side. Uh, when you turn in uh, your other homework, we'll just kind of showcase that you've uh, got the knowledge base on how to UV map. Uh, very simple form. All right, good luck, guys, on that.